Welcome to Sila Partner Channel, Ivan Vasilchuk, World Champion in Sambo. You all saw my last videos where I tried to compete in BJJ and learn BJJ. I want black belt in BJJ and the quickest method is to compete. Many black belts with which I played, they say I'm already black belt. But whether I wear it or I am indeed two different things, they say to to earn it you have to know all the terminology, nomenclature, how to pass guard or compete in tournaments. I think if you sit and learn, it's too long, and many from what you learn in BJJ is not needed. Just like in school, there is general development. You learn everything a little bit, but in life, you don't need it, most of it. Same thing in Sambo, in Judo, in BJJ, in any sport. There is a big layer of information, but you, it's impossible to learn. Your head will explode. So, I'm in such age and such understanding. You don't need to everything. Just learn what need and brings maximum result. In this video, I will share with five rules how to get ready for a tournament. I can call myself world champion as far as getting ready to compete. When I won my first world champion in Sambo, 88 kg, no one could understand because guys there would cut a lot of weight, 5, 8 kg, they are multiple world champions as such. And me, I was underweight and still won. Why? Because I prepare completely and concisely. You know, little bricks th that you build house that will help me to be maximally prepared. Today I'll share with main rules, but there are a lot of them. I will tell you everything on my online uh, course, Sila Partner. In this club, we invented a concept every month, new theme. So first is training process how to build it correctly, then psychologically of a winner, and then food consumption, then schedule of the day. Another month, recuperation after competition, training, injuries. Next month will be about brand, how to find sponsors that will pay you for your competing. So club is going to be awesome plus a lot of bonuses, whoever who buys. But this video is about a different thing. Competition, being ready, very important. If you plan to go to compete in a month and you're not ready. So let's, month ago I had a coronavirus and first practice after, I was like, wow, what happened? My conditioning fell down. <laughs> Never happened to me before. Maybe... Maybe in 2014 it happened. So eight years, first time I had knee surgery, I was in such poor shape. So first rule, don't force. If you don't have enough time, slowly advance, slowly get your functioning up. Five minutes, hard to wrestle. Next time, do a minute and a half. Then a week later, two minutes. And then another week later, three minutes hard but do three minutes and when you go to compete adrenaline can three or four uh, 43 four or five matches usually first week five minutes hard to wrestle you die then next week you do five minutes by five and you tolerate but then you fall and your body cannot recuperate in time so why do you force? Where's the sense to force during practice and then during competition lose? So slowly. And as far as maximally, performance should be done at competition. After competition, you can get sick, get, get, uh, get well, get rest. So main goal is competition. And as we say, it's, either, it's better to eat less than more. Do not force. It's better to be slightly undertrained and overtrained. Second rule for me, very important. If I compete in World or European Championship, big tournaments, two months I stop preparation. If it's a regular, four weeks. 
I do not stop one day without sweating. Some people do a workload on Friday, Saturday a little bit, and Sunday rest. No, I do not rest. I do train. Why? So my body does not relax too much. After not doing something for 24 hours as far as training, anybody says, ah, awesome, I'm resting. So we relax and you relax too much. And after one rest, it's hard to get back in a groove. Everything is oxidized and heavy. You have to speed it up, warm up, and sometimes you get injured because of that. Do not stop training process even for a day. Even 20 minutes, do a little warm up, sweat, and you just good sweating. So second rule, do not stop. Some people stay, you, you must miss math, maybe five days. I disagree. So maybe run, maybe bike a little bit, maybe swim, but with measure. So it's better to be on a mat, working work that your body is used to, not too hard. You can switch, M maybe break grips, maybe do uchikome, maybe a couple throws, uh, wrestle with little ones, just a little workload. And I know a lot of people that rest and then run. Legs are tired, they go to compete, everything is tired, and they lose. So as far as I'm concerned, do a regular workload without stopping. Third rule, food. For example, five days before, I refuse food that makes me move heavy, that drops my functional conditioning. Five days, I don't do red meat, it's heavy, no sweets. I don't even period, but even when I still ate some, by kilos five days before i refuse sweets and fruits as well because it's sugar maybe one a day and it's not going to make you slow then then i don't eat fried salty super peppered food such foods which most people don't recommend because it does not affect your stomach nicely and you don't know how, how it's going to play out during torment important moment you might want to go to the bathroom and you'll poop your tournament closer to the tournament i eat more vegetables white meat and complex carbs complex carbs to get glucagon in my muscles so when I, even if it's hard i find some energy so important rule should be taken fourth i don't even know Everything I say is important. Go to bed before 11 and sleep. If you train twice a day, no more than nine hours. Seven and a half hours I, I slept at night, then train in the morning, and then hour and a half nap during the day. So nine hours total. Because I train once a day, I do not sleep more than eight hours. Go to bed at 10, wake up at six. So eight hours. No more, no less. Less, maybe it's stress, and so is more sleep, it's also stress. There is a lot of literature about physiology. Eight hours, it's optimal. I tried to sleep six hours. And I always was angry, tired, aggravated. Eight hours I sleep, I'm golden. So, number four, go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time. But, no more. Eight hours. If if you train twice, maybe have another nap, hour and a half or so. It's important. Sleep. That will affect your result. And the fifth, my favorite. People don't pay attention to it. Two weeks before, maybe one week at least before tournament, I listen only positive music. I only watch positive movies i don't fight i don't have conflicts i see some conflict i try to e reject it i maximally try to be not negative i also try to be not too positive 
I don't have joy without reason. If if I listen to music, I don't dance. Why? You know why? I economize my energy. Energy is important for tournaments, m more so than anywhere else. If I want to win tournament, if you fight with someone, and too much, too much energy, you spend too much energy, even being joyful, and ten seconds before match, you could be expiring. So economize your energy. Don't be like a vegetable. Be like in a. I don't care about anything attitude. Got tired during tournament and don't care about anything else. That really helps me. Because of that, I won a lot of tournaments. Even when I was told, you're going to lose. And when I won, people were surprised. How? It's simple. Preparation is more important than result before. I'm okay with that. I always get ready. Um, I believe in schedule. Everything is regimented. If something doesn't work, next time, I fix it and change schedule if needed. I have a lot of homework done. I share a lot. But Sila Parter will do even more so. I will co converse with you one, one to one, face to face. I don't know English. Vlad Kulikov will always translate. Plus, Vlad Kulikov will help you as well. He's got experience, competition, and coaching. So, if you like the video, please share it with your friend who competes. And possibly he's not so good and he learn. People read comments and I read them too and answer a question. Write down what things are important for you. People read and I'll read too. Thank you. Like please. So my video has a lot of views and popularity. Write in comments, repost and like. See you soon.